Hi, this is Jay. Welcome to Bright Ideas. Here are the causes of learning disabilities, brain damage, biochemical imbalance, and environmental factors. Number one is brain damage. An increasing consensus attributes learning disabilities to neurological dysfunction or central nervous system pathology. The models on the causes of learning disabilities state that a condition can be. First is hereditary, indicating the presence in the genetic makeup of a certain inherited diseases or disorders that damage the brain. The second one is innate, resulting from biological influences during the period of conception or pregnancy. And the third one is congenital, indicating that biological influences may have originated during the process of gestation or development in the prenatal, perinatal, or postnatal periods of development. In recent years, neurologists and other professionals use advanced technology to assess brain activities more accurately. Some of the new procedures are Electroencephalogram or EEG This is a graphic measure and recording of the brain's electrical impulses. The EEG is a digitally computerized recording and analysis of the brain waves. Many students with learning disabilities have abnormal brain waves as shown by the encephalogram that records the brain's electrical impulses. Computerized tomographic scans or CT. This is a new imaging technique whereby x-rays of the brain are compiled by a computer to produce an overall picture of the brain. The CT scans enabled the neurologist to look at the underlying physiology or physical condition of the brain. Magnetic resonance imaging or MRI. This is a neuroimaging technique whereby radio waves are used to produce cross-sectional images of the brain. CT scans and MRI results show that the brains of those with learning disability suffered from a disruption in the development of the neural cells during the early months of pregnancy. This means that the neurons in the brain area did not develop normally. Number two is biochemical imbalance. Some researchers claim that biochemical disturbance in a child's body caused learning disabilities. A study in 1975 by Feingold suggested that artificial food colors, flavors, preservatives, salicylates, and megavitamins in many of the foods that children eat can cause learning disabilities and hyperactivity. But a comprehensive review of a diet-related studies concluded that very little pieces of evidence supported the statement. So, although it is possible or even probable that biochemistry may affect a child's behavior and learning in the classroom, no scientific evidence exists today to reveal the nature or extent of that influence. Number three is environmental factors. The environmental factors are difficult to study. There are pieces of evidence that show poverty, malnutrition, and inadequate learning experiences that include poor teaching and lack of instructional materials as causes of environmental disadvantage that make children prone to learning problems. Three types of environmental influences believed to be related to children's learning problems are First is emotional disturbance. Many children with learning problems have behavioral disorders as well, whether one causes the other or whether both are caused by some of other factors remains uncertain. The second one is lack of motivation. It is difficult to identify reinforcing activities for some students with learning disabilities. It is possible that they may not simply be interested in any of the things that other children like. And the third one is poor instruction. Although children are able to learn in spite of poor teaching and inadequate strategies, other children are less fortunate. Some of them who have experienced poor instruction in their early grades are not able to catch up with their peers.